With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, it is given that if the angle between the circles x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 6y plus 41 is equal to 0 and x squared plus y squared plus kx plus 6y minus 59 is equal to 0 is 45 degree, then find the value of k, this k, right? So we compare it with the standard equation of a circle. The standard equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2 into fy plus a constant term is equal to 0. This is the standard equation of a circle, right? And we have these equations. The first equation that we have for the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 6y plus 41 is equal to 0. Now if we compare it with the standard equation, we will see that the value of g is equal to minus 6 and the value of f is equal to minus 3, right? So we know that the center of a circle is now, center of a circle is nothing but minus g comma minus f, right? So the center for this circle will be 6 comma 3, 6 comma 3. And we also know that the radius of a circle is given for the standard equation it is under root of g squared plus f squared minus the constant term right so in this case we have this equal to under root of g squared so g we just found is minus 6 so that is minus 6 squared plus minus 3 squared which is f squared and minus the constant term so the constant term is equal to 41 in this case right so minus 41 so the radius of the circle would be simply 36 plus 9 minus 41 right so this is equal to 36 plus 9 is equal to 45 and 45 minus 41 is 45 minus 41 is simply 4. So this will be the radius of the circle that will be uh, under root of 4 so that is 2. We reject the minus value because radius cannot be negative right. So let us consider the second equation now and we will also find the all the quantities g, f and c for this, uh, this circle. So x squared plus y squared and then we have plus kx plus 6y plus kx plus 6y and then plus minus 59 right so minus 59 is equal to 0 so this is our other circle now let us compare it to the standard equation we have 2gx and 2fy so 2g is equal to k that means g would be equal to k by 2 right for the standard equation and 2f is equal to 6 so f would be equal to 6 by 2 so that is equal to 3. So we have g, we have f and the constant term is minus 59 as we can see. So now let us calculate the center of this circle. The center of this circle is simply minus g comma minus f. That would be minus k by 2 comma minus 3. Okay. And the radius of the circle, we know the formula. Radius of the circle is under root of g square plus x square minus c. This will be under root of, sorry, under root of g squared is k by 2 squared plus f squared is minus 3 squared minus c. So minus 59 minus minus 59 is plus 59. Right. So this will be equal to equal to under root of k squared divided by 4 plus 9 plus 59. So that is plus 68. So this is the radius of the other circle. Right. This was the radius of the first circle. Let us call this r1. And this is the radius of the second circle, let us call it R2. Right? This was the center of the second circle, let us call it center 2. And that was the radius of the first circle, so uh, center of the first circle, so that is center 1. Now we know that the angle between any two circles is given as cos theta. Cos theta, where theta is the angle between the two circles, the two circles given here. So the angle we know is nothing but R1 squared plus R2 squared minus the distance between the center. So let us call this C1, C2 whole squared. So distance between the centers squared divided by 2 R1, R2. This is the standard formula for the angle between any two circles. Now in this equation, we have all the values like R1 and R2 that we just calculated. We have the value of theta, but we don't have the center distance between the center of the two circles. So let us calculate the center. The center of the first circle, that is the center, center number 1, is the point, it was uh, 6, 3, 
right it was 6 comma 3 so we have the center 6 comma 3 the center of the second circle center 2 let us call it it is minus k by 2 comma minus 3 so we have to find the distance between these which we have called c1 c2 so c1 c2 would be equal to the under root of x2 minus x1 squared so that is uh, this plus this it will become so 6 plus k by 2 whole squared plus the this plus this squared so this minus this squared so 3 minus minus 3 so that is 6 squared so the distance will be under root of this is 36 plus k squared by 4 plus 2ab so that will be 6k plus 36 again right so this is the distance between the centers we can calculate this a little more so this is equal to 36 plus 36 is 72 so that is k squared by 4 plus 6k plus 72 now we have all the values for this equation and let us substitute the values so we have been given that the angle between the circles theta is equal to 45 degrees right so cos 45 degrees equal to r1 squared right so r1 was equal to 2 so 2 squared plus r2 squared r2 is we just calculated under root of k squared by 4 under root of k squared plus 4 plus 68 so that is k squared by 4 plus 68 right and then we have to subtract the distance between the center so that is minus this squared so this just opens up the square root so we have k squared by 4 plus uh, 6k plus 72 so this is the numerator and on the denominator we will have 2 r1 r2 right so 2 into r1 we were we just saw was equal to 2 right r1 was equal to 2 and r2 is equal to under root of k squared by 4 plus 68 this term so this is under root of k squared by 4 plus 68 right plus 68 so let us calculate this on the left hand side we have cos 45 so that is simply 1 by root 2 on the right hand side we have 4 plus 68 and then we have k squared by 4 minus k squared by 4 this cancels out so we have only this will become minus 6k minus 6k and then minus 72 right so this is divided by 2 into 2 that is 4 under root of k squared by 4 so we have k squared by 4 plus 68 now let us solve this further so that we have 1 by root 2 is equal to 68 plus 4 is 72 so this cancels out with the 72 here so we have minus 6k divided by 4 into under root of k squared by 4 plus 68 so to get rid of the square root now we can square both sides right so we have 1 by 2 is equal to minus 6k would become 36 k squared this is the numerator and on the denominator we'll have 4 squared that is 16 and this square root can be removed k squared by 4 plus 68 right plus 68 so this is our uh, answer let us solve this further so we have this cancels out so this is just 8 and then we have 4 9s are 36 and 4 2s are right so we, we can now write it as we cross multiply so 2 into k squared by 4 plus 68 is equal to 9k squared okay so we can do this we can easily solve this we can multiply both sides by let us say 2 so if this becomes 4 so we have k squared by 4 cancels out and then 2 into uh, 4 into 68 so 4 into 68 this will be equal to we have multiplied both sides by 2 so that is 18k squared right so now we have we have 17 k squared is equal to 68 into 4 right this goes on the other side we know that 17 4 is 68 so k squared is 4 into 4 this means k is equal to k is equal to plus minus 4 the square root of 16 is plus minus 4 we have to consider both values so these are the two values possible values for the constant k for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today